Gut Health Tests Results and Protocol. If you've been curious about gut health testing and you want to know more about what the test results will tell you and also you want to know what you'll have to do as a protocol afterwards, then definitely take a few minutes to watch this video right now. I'm going to explain the whole process step by step so you get a full understanding of exactly what information you get from a comprehensive gut health test panel. And then I'm also going to walk you through the process I use when I work one on one with a client to build an effective gut healing protocol based on these test results. And today I'm actually going to be using my own personal gut health test results as an example so you can see what the results look like in real life. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Kelsey Ale. I'm a certified nutritional therapist and a gut health specialist at KelseyAle.com. And I work one-on-one -on -one with clients to help them heal their gut and resolve chronic digestive disorders, autoimmune conditions, and mood disorders using food and food-based supplements. And yes, I actually use all of the exact same tests on myself that I recommend to my clients. I also post a new video every week talking in depth about natural ways to heal your gut. So if this sounds interesting to you and you want to learn more about it, definitely make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. So you probably need a gut healing protocol if you suffer from chronic digestive disorders like constipation or diarrhea, bloating, cramping, um, embarrassing gas, and even heartburn. You should definitely do a gut healing protocol if you suffer from chronic inflammation or autoimmune disease, mood disorders, or skin disorders like acne and eczema. When someone comes to me and they have one or more of these symptoms, which it's common to have at least two to three, if not more, symptoms that I just described in addition to potentially other symptoms, I always recommend they do a home stool kit and this is the test kit that I like to use. Um, we'll look inside the test kit in just a second. So starting at the beginning, you and I will have a discovery call. And after that call, if I determine that a gut health protocol is the next best step for you, we will get off the phone and I'll send you some emails that have a little bit of information. And I will also need to get some information from you so that I can mail a test kit directly to your front door. And when the kit comes to your door, you'll open it up and you will see the contents inside. There are a couple of pieces of paperwork and instructions for how to take the test. Um, we have a vial with some liquid and a sterile glove. And then we have the container for you to collect your specimen. And this is why I lovingly refer to this test as the pooping in a hot dog container test. Now, there are a couple of things you'll need to do in preparation for taking the test, like stopping taking your probiotics, for example, but don't worry, I will give you all of that information in the emails that I sent after our discovery call so that by the time the test kit arrives, you're 100% prepared and you know exactly what to do. So when it comes time to take your test, you must deposit your stool specimen <laughs> into the hot dog container. And then you will use a scoop that's attached to the inside of this cap of this vial to scoop samples of your specimen into the vial that has the reagent in it. And the reason you have to scoop and take samples from different areas around the specimen is because we wanna get as thorough of a sample as possible of what's going on in your gut so that we get the most accurate and thorough results possible. And this is the point at which most people start to gag because poop freaks us out, which makes sense on a biological level if you think about it. But poop is also the most informative specimen we can use to gauge the overall health of your gut and your microbiome because poop comes out of your gut in your microbiome. So if you've ever changed a dirty diaper before, collecting your stool specimen is really not that much different than changing a dirty diaper. And even if you've never changed a dirty diaper before, I promise you will live, you'll be totally fine. It's really not that big of a deal at the end of the day. And even my most squeamish of clients have been able to make it through the test without injury. 100% survival rate. <laughs> So once your specimen is collected in the vial, you put it back into this bag provided. Definitely get rid of the hot dog container. We're going to put this bag back into the box. There is a prepaid FedEx labeled bag inside the box. So you put the box into the FedEx bag and then you call FedEx to schedule a pickup. And I always secretly wonder if the FedEx people know what they're picking up. 
when they pick it up? I'm not gonna tell. And then we wait, and I typically receive the results from the lab in about two to three weeks. And finally, you have answers to your symptoms and what's causing them and what's making you feel the way you're feeling. And this is what your gut health test results look like. It is a comprehensive four page report. Um, and I will send it to you before our call, but I will send it to you right before our call because I like to go over it with people. Um, you can see there are a lot of potential answers <laughs> to get on the test. And sometimes I know that if I send people the test results too far in advance, they look at what it says. They might register as having an overgrowth of a bacteria or a parasite and they kind of freak out about it. So I like to go over it with you in real time to help you understand the results. Because again, there's nothing on here that's gonna come up on your test that we won't be able to work out somehow. So you're gonna be fine. You can see that there are categories for bacterial pathogens, um, parasitic pathogens, and viral pathogens. Also H. pylori is um, included in the test, which is great because this is a really common bacterial infection of the stomach that actually inhibits your stomach from producing stomach acid and it can cause a lot of digestive discomfort, bloating, cramping, diarrhea, constipation, that sort of thing. Um, and then they also show us the levels of your normal bacterial flora because we want to make sure those are in balance and you have good levels of beneficial and normal bacterial flora. Um, they also show us the ratio and balance of the different phyla of bacteria found in your microbiome because we want the ratio to be in balance. Um, and then we start to look at opportunistic and dysbiotic overgrown bacteria. And they also have a special section, which I've mentioned um, on another video that I shot about gut health and autoimmune disease, but a list of potential autoimmune triggers, which is again, super helpful if you have an autoimmune disease, you might have a specific bacterial infection that could be exacerbating or triggering your autoimmune flare up. Um, then we get to the second about fungi and yeast. You may have heard of candida. So this test definitely looks at candida as well as a couple of other um, fungi species. We look at viruses and then we look at types of parasites, um, which is important again to look at the type of parasite because different types of parasites require uh, different approaches and different treatments. So again, the specificity that you get with this test as far as being able to determine, to determine exactly what species is going on in, in your gut and causing an infection or an overgrowth is really vital for us in planning out the best and most effective protocol. And then lastly, we get some information about your digestive health. Do you need digestive enzymes? How are you digesting fat? How are you digesting carbohydrate? Is your body able to detox properly? Um, do you have have inflammation going on in the intestines or has inflammation been going on so long that you actually have diminished immune response in your gut. And there's even a spot for us to look at whether or not your body is producing antibodies against gluten. So yeah, it's a lot of information that I hold in my hand <laughs> about your gut health or my gut health in this case. Now, once we have these test results, we will go ahead and schedule our in-depth initial consulta consultation where we'll do a deep dive into your health history. I'll review the test results with you and, and help you understand them, explain what they mean. And then we will start building your custom healing protocol. Your custom healing protocol will include nutri nutrition recommendations, uh, supplement recommendations, lifestyle recommendations, if applicable, and depending on your test results, if you did come back positive for an infection, I'll recommend an eradication protocol. In my 12-week nutrition and wellness counseling package, I not only include the GI map gut health test, but I also include a food sensitivity test because you 100% of the time when you have a gut health imbalance, remember that oftentimes causes food sensitivities due to leaky gut. And when we combine the results of the gut health test and the food sensitivity test, we can make a really, really in-depth and super effective comprehensive healing protocol that's specific to exactly what your body Body needs. And the food sensitivity test is a blood draw test. So that means you have to go to a clinic and have a blood draw performed. And I help you find a clinic nearby that's suitable to have the draw performed at. So you don't have to worry about trying to figure out anything on your own. I am there to support you from the beginning.
So again, with these two test results combined, we will start by making some changes and recommendations to your diet. And this will be based both on the foods that you tested as being sensitive to, as well as whatever dietary recommendation or strategy is best for supporting your gut health based on your gut health results. I will also make recommendations for digestive support supplements so you can get immediate relief from bloating and cramping and diarrhea or constipation and heartburn. Um, and as I previously mentioned, if an infection showed up on your gut health test, I will make recommendations about supplements to take for an eradication protocol. And what this means is that if you did have an infection, I will recommend natural, herbal, and food-based supplements to attend to whatever type of infection you have going on so that we can rebalance your microbiome and you can feel great in your own skin again. So for example, if you had bacterial infections, one or more show up on your test, like I did on mine, which you just saw, I will recommend specific supplements that will work to eradicate and rebalance that bacterial overgrowth. Or if you had a yeast or fungal overgrowth like candida, for example, that requires a different specific set of supplements to eradicate and rebalance. And as I mentioned previously, when we were looking at the test results, if you have a parasite, depending on what kind of parasite it is, I will recommend a different protocol um, and timing for that protocol as well. So each different type of infection requires a slightly different kind of protocol. Once we establish your custom protocol that's based on your test results, you will embark on your 12-week journey toward healing. And over the course of those 12 weeks, we will hop on calls every three to four weeks to review how the protocol is going and to answer any questions that come up. For example, I can help you find recipes and strategize meals based on your food sensitivities and your gut health needs, or I can help you figure out a plan for staying on track with your protocol while you're traveling. And I'm also available to offer email support between calls for any quick questions that pop up so you are completely supported throughout the entire process. Now, I want to be totally transparent and honest with you and I want to talk through some of the common obstacles that people face when they're working on completing a gut healing protocol. Now I would say the number one obstacle that people run into when it comes to sticking with the gut healing protocol is sticking with the recommended diet. Depending on what your body and gut need to be rebalanced, I will recommend a different dietary protocol. And some of these dietary protocols are more restrictive than others. And 12 weeks on a restrictive dietary protocol can feel like a long time. But I can promise you that if you're in enough pain, it's worth it to stick with it and avoid cookies and ice cream for a few weeks if it means the rest of your quality of life will drastically improve. Plus, I'll be working with you all along the way, again, to find food substitutes that will leave you feeling satisfied and recipes that keep you excited and interested to stick with your healthy protocol. So again, you're not in this alone. I'm by your side the whole way. Now, after the 12 weeks of the protocol is up, of your dietary changes and your recommended supplements, we're gonna take a break and we're gonna wait for a month and then we're gonna retest to make sure that the changes and the protocol were effective at rebalancing your gut. Now, this may be the end of your healing journey and it's time for us to figure out the best healthy maintenance plan for you moving forward or this might be the first step in identifying further imbalances in your body. It can be supremely frustrating for people to be strict, follow the initial 12-week protocol to a T, only to retest and come back and find out that there's still more work to be done. And this doesn't happen every time, but it is especially important to be aware of this possibility if you've been living with chronic symptoms for an extended period of time. It may take longer than three months for your body to recover from a chronic illness, whether it's chronic digestive symptoms or an autoimmune disease that's been flaring up or something else. You have to take into consideration how long the problem has been going on when you think about how long it will take your body to recover from it. You can't necessarily expect to heal a years or decades long problem in a matter of weeks, but you will 
notice and feel a night and day difference after the completion of the initial 12-week protocol, even if there's still more work to do. And with your patience and commitment, you can get to your 100%. One main reason that people have to do multiple protocols is because of the types of infections they have, and especially if they have multiple categories of infections. So an example of this would be if you have both a bacterial infection or multiple bacterial infections, in addition to a parasitic infection, which is, um, I have a recent client who's a perfect example of this, that we did a really intensive initial 12-week protocol that eradicated his multiple bacterial infections infections and then we had to do a second protocol to address the parasite because like I mentioned before the protocol to treat the bacteria is different from the protocol that will be effective in treating the parasite so that was an example of why we had to do two protocols in succession Another type of infection that can require multiple protocols is a SIBO infection or small intestine bacterial overgrowth. For some reason, those back, um, small intestine bacterial infections are really tenacious and tricky. And so when I've worked with clients who have SIBO infections, oftentimes we have to do at least two protocols in order to completely eradicate it and rebalance their systems. Another thing to consider is that even if your gut healing protocol is effective first time around, there might still be work to do in other areas of the body. And this is because gut health is the foundation of health in the body, and when gut health is out of whack, it stresses and throws off other bodily systems. But once we've healed your gut, we can get a really clear picture of what exact systems in your body are still being affected and those systems might need assessments and different protocols and recommendations to rebalance those systems. So for example, if you've been wondering if your hormones are out of whack or if it's really your adrenal glands that have been stressed and need support, go ahead and heal your gut first. And once your gut is effectively healed, you'll be able to see more clearly. Are your hormones really out of whack or was it just that the stress of your gut being out of whack was throwing off your hormones and now everything is settling back into place where it should be? At the end of the day, one of my absolute favorite things about gut health testing and functional testing in general is that it takes the guesswork out of protocols and figuring out what's truly effective for rebalancing your system. So you can focus on just what needs to be healed and rebalanced, and you can treat it in a way that's specific to that need so that you can feel great in your own skin again. Now this process isn't for the faint of heart, but it is straightforward. You get black and white answers from functional lab testing. From there, we figure out exactly what's going on inside the body so we know exactly what to do to effectively rebalance the issue. This process is really ideal for people who have been suffering with pain and discomfort for years and who have had very little luck getting answers from doctors or even from other nutritionists. Most of my clients come to me incredibly frustrated by the lack of answers that they've gotten up until now, and they're relieved that we can work together to get clear results and build an effective protocol that will finally address their concerns. And I know what it's like because I've been there, suffering and in pain for years, um, super frustrated by the lack of answers, and discovering this functional testing method truly changed my life and my health. Now, if you would like to get your very own gut health test results so you can finally figure out what is causing your acne and your skin rashes or your autoimmune disease flare-ups, your systemic inflammation or your chronic digestive disorders, go ahead and click the link below this video to fill out an application and we can set up a time to talk to make sure we're a good fit to work together so I can guide you on your healing journey. All right, that's all I have for you today. Um, you can go ahead and check out these videos next for more information on how to heal your gut naturally. If you like this video and you found the information helpful, please hit the like button. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. And of course, you can always share these videos and information with anyone who you think might benefit from them or find them helpful. So that's it. I'll see you back here next week. Take care.